Hi, welcome to the second video of hypothesis testing. I'm going to demonstrate how to do a hypothesis test on a single proportion. This is a question of example 2. A car manufacturer conducted a study by randomly sampling and interviewing 1,000 consumers in a new target market. If brand preference is lower than 10%, Additional resources will be committed to advertising and the sponsorship. In this sample, 93 consumers exhibited strong brand liking. So, based on the sample, would you suggest committing resources to enhance brand awareness? The data set contains two variables, ID and consider. Consider the answer to the question whether the consumer would consider purchasing this brand of car in the future. So it is either yes or no. Let's go to the single proportion page. The null hypothesis is that the proportion of consumers who would like to consider this car brand for a future purchase is equal to 10%. So I select consider from the variable. To evaluate the proportion of yes response in the sample, I'm going to select yes from choose level. We will choose less than for the alternative hypothesis and set comparison value as 0.1. Because we would like to determine if the available data provides sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative that the proportion of consumers who will consider this brand is less than 10%. This is a summary of the test. It looks similar to what we had in last video. NS here is the number of success. This is a number we can compare to a binomial distribution with n equal to 1000 and p equal to 0.1. We also have three approaches to evaluate the null hypothesis in a single proportion test. The first approach is p-value. Since the p-value is 0.249, greater than 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. The second approach is confidence interval. Because the comparison value 0.1 is contained in the confidence interval, we can now reject the null hypothesis. The third approach is the number of success. We can obtain the critical value by using probability calculator. For each time, we will have a binary outcome, either yes or no. The probability of having yes is 0.1. Repeat 1000 times, so it is a binomial distribution. Since the alternative is less than, we will set the lower bound of probabilities as 0.05. The critical value is 55, which is less than 93, so we fail to reject the null hypothesis and don't suggest that the management should commit resources to increase brand awareness through advertising and sponsorship. That would be all for today. Thank you for watching.